Don't be angry. <laughs> Don't be sad. Aww. Who is making their hundredth video? Who? Who? Be happy. Pickin' Weeds Vintage. That's who. One hundred. <laughs> Hey, Pickers, Mighty Mike, Pickin' Weeds Vintage, that's right. It is our 100th video. Yes! Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. When we started this YouTube channel back in the middle of August, we started posting videos and creating content. August of 2021, and here we are, coming up on a whole year, just a couple months away, end of summer. And we're uh, so thrilled that we already have 100 episodes and we have over 175 subscribers. We started with zero. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you! And it is beautiful right now. It's sunny out. Garden is really starting to take off. Look at those strawberries down there with the white flowers. And there's some of the things that we planted. Some radishes and some sugar peas. Our lettuce bed has probably seen better days but we'll have to do another video with that one. There's Ollie. Hey, Ollie. He's relaxing. So it was the opposite of today over the weekend and we hit the thrift stores. So we're gonna do a haul video, really good one, as you saw in the introduction. We got some really cool items that we're gonna show you. I'm just so excited. Mother's Day was yesterday. It was actually cold and rainy to start the day. It was like 40 degrees, but it looks like we're finally over that hump. They always say you can plant your tomato plants after Mother's Day. So I think we're definitely turning the corner here on the nice weather. So glad you could join us on this edition of Pickin' Weeds Vintage. All right, let's take a look. We're gonna start with this little dish and you put your keys in there, a little tchotchke dish. Save this, exclamation, after 25 years and 400 payments, you can burn the mortgage in it. Good luck in your new home. These little trays were popular years ago, little giveaways. Banks gave these away. And sometimes automotive places or doctor's offices, dentists, it was only 49 cents. And it's very uh, small, it's easy to ship. So uh, it's colorful, it's got some great color to it. That was a no-brainer. They just don't do that anymore. In fact, if they do it, it's usually plastic. And this is glass. Then we got the Schroeder's Bank Paperweight. And this is really heavy. Another giveaway, another promotional items. Banks used to do this a lot. And this is J. Henry Schroeder, Bank and Trust, Trust Company. New York, New York, has the phone number, the area code. And this is cool, it has the original paperwork, and it's even signed, I take it, by the artist. So that's great whenever you have the original inserts for a treasure like that. All right, moving right along here, you know that I like to buy things in groups of three. And Kay found these, these are great for $1.50, these old cars. And it even has the original sticker on it. Original something Art Mart creation or Armarty creation was made in Japan. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there are three of them. And um, they're really cool. They present really well. And for a dollar fifty. Take it. Another set of three. These kind of remind me of, they're all black and white photography in the snow, of Ikea. And I'm probably not that far off. They're 50 cents each. I don't think they're Ikea, but this has the original sticker on it. Wenke Gulbranson. And it's Norway. Has the phone number there. So, um... They're just cool. And again, a set of three, nice to hang in uh, you know, a chalet or office or somebody, a ski lodge or a cabin, whatever. So I really was happy with both of those sets. All right, here is a little uh, 
dust collector you put on the wall when people go on vacation. They like to get a souvenir to remind them of their trip. And it said here, there's a little frog peeking out the top. I had a bag of fun in Reno, the biggest little city in the world. And that was just 49 cents. Again, easy to ship. And he is a cutie. Got this set of four glasses. And I like these. These are very, very heavy. And they are the Pioneer Woman. And they're, I bought them for 25 cents a piece. piece so the whole set was a uh, dollar. But they're selling for $20 to $25 online. I just like that they're really thick. I don't think they're really old, but it doesn't have to be old. Just something that catches your eye. And um, probably take that to the flea because I just think that'll look really good in the sunshine. All right, we found this camera here. And it's the romper room. And of course, you have Snoopy and Woodstock, and it still works. And it's from the Peanut Characters. United Feature Syndicate, and it has 1958, 1965, 1966, 1972. So I was very young at that age, and I probably had a camera like that, and it still works. Let me show you. And then you pull Woodstock up. And then it changes the photograph through the lens. So that was cool. Got two, two of these cactuses, and they were just a dollar each. They're plastic, but I just think they're really cool. And they display really nice next to the, um, the is that the Pikachu, I think? And he was $3. He's a bank. He's not in perfect condition, but he does have the original stopper on. And um, I just think he'll display well for $3. Probably not going to make a whole lot of money in that because he does have some uh, scratch paint, but... There are some people out there that like to buy things. I just sold a little slot machine. It was a toy and uh, it was working, but the lights weren't working. So the guy who bought it for me for five bucks is a toy. Um, he said he tinkers with that kind of stuff and uh, he was going to fix it up. So that's a cool thing. The Pikachu. This is really cool. This is some kind of a belt. And um, I don't know if this is... Uh, a reproduction. I, I take it it is because it looks like the leather is in pretty newer shape, but it has, you know, three pence. It has a shilling, a half penny, one penny, and a farthing. So all of the denominations, I don't know if that's the old English, British denominations, I believe. And um, it's a decorative belt. But boy, you have to be pretty thin to wear that. So um, we'll have to look that piece up. Got that for five bucks. And I think that's just a fun piece to display as well. All right. This is a pop culture piece. And um, this is SpongeBob SquarePants under the sea. These things do really well because people loved those shows. They were fun. We got a vintage salt and pepper shaker set 50 cents and that is from the 70s i remember my mom had a set just like that so those will do well online got some cool coffee mugs of course you remember where everybody knows your name and this is in really good condition from the tv show looks clean in the middle there inside and we only paid 99 cents for this one so someone who is a Cheers fan, and they never went to the Cheers bar. I guess there is a bar you can go to up in Boston, and um, it's just like the set of the TV show. All right, some other coffee mugs we have. This is from the casino, the Claridge. 50 cents we paid for it, and it looks like it has the, uh, the slot handle there. You can pull it, and um, nothing on the back, but it's just cool. It's novelty. We got two of those. Again, they were both 50 cents a piece. And uh, this has the blue sevens, and the other one has the red sevens. And then we got a Ford coffee mug for 50 cents. Murphy's Plumbing Custom Cab. So, uh, oh, it's got that Ford logo. Anytime you get the logo on and you have the serious diehard collectors, we tend to do really well. So, 
You can't go thrifting with Kay and not buy some coffee mugs. All right, we have uh, some of these. These are hard plastic. And uh, even though they're mass produced, we got them for 75 cents a piece. And we have uh, Pinocchio, Walt Disney Classic, The Jungle Book, and Dumbo. Next up, we have eight plastic cars. We paid $2 for the whole lot. And these are a very light plastic, but they're made in France. I don't know if you can see that. So I haven't looked them up yet, but a whole set, they'll display really well out at the flea, or we could even, you know, sell them online. But they're fun, and um, I've just, I don't know, I've never seen this set before. It seems like even the cab's a little exaggerated. They're, they're miniatures, and there's eight of them. All right, we got some food items next. This is the grilled cheese book. And Kay saw this, I think she got this for a quarter. And uh, everybody loves grilled cheese. I love grilled cheese. And it's grilled cheese and more. It's even in the uh, style of a grilled cheese sandwich. And it has uh, soups, paninis, the basics and beyond, or beyond the basics, cheesy classics. And, of course, all of the delicious grilled cheese recipes. I already had my lunch, but they look really, really good. Can't wait to have fun with that. We're not selling that one. That's staying with us. Also, speaking of food, we got these Domino hats. I love, you know, love pizza, too, just like grilled cheese sandwiches. But the Domino's hats, they were a dollar a piece, and they have the patch on it and it says their dominoes gear they were never worn because it still has that cardboard on the inside so we got a pair of those a dollar piece with the original dominoes logo on it the patch and the dominoes gear so i thought those were great at only a buck a piece Earl Orville Redenbacher, remember him? And the crazy commercials he used to make? This is a gourmet popping corn tin. Got it for a dollar. And it's not that old, I think it's from 1995, but honestly, when you grow up on these kind of things, the pop culture items, people like that. They like to use these for display. Not gonna make a whole lot on it, maybe five bucks, maybe seven or eight, but it's just a fun piece. All right, speaking of pop culture, look at this. Kay scored these Justin Bieber's. It's My World 2.0. I guess that was a tour. And um, these are from Mead. So um, these were very, very popular. And they're doing well online. We were seeing people sell these for a lot more than just a quarter. But we got 19 of them. So um, we could probably sell it all as a set to another dealer or make lots or sell them individually. So that'll be a fun lot to go through and to post. All right, another pop culture, pop music icon, right? You know, folks, it was just in the 90s. I mean, Britney Spears, but already these kind of things have become collectible. Got it for $2. And this is a, um, you got a mirror there. And you got some uh, notepads. Not sure if these pencils are original to um, this box because this one says Happy Easter. But you got some original uh, notepads. So for $2, I thought that was a good one. Finally, out here on the table, we have this old couple and we paid $2 a piece for them. You know what? Some of the dolls overall. I tend, we don't do that well with them. I mean, even some Cabbage Patch dolls we have look, uh, posted, listed for a while on Marketplace, but there are certain things we have done well with, and for whatever reason, people like senior citizen dolls. They like older people dolls. And the more detail on them, the better. And look at his face, just a happy old man. Look at his hands. And the same thing, with his wife. 
and it just shows a lot of detail. So I think we're going to do well with them at $4 we got for them. All right, so this is all the items that we have here on the table. I told you it was a rainy weekend, so we did really, really well thrifting. Over here, Kay found this at one of our local thrift stores that we go. It's $5. This is a family guy, teddy bear. A family guy teddy bear. Is that Stewie? So I, we think he's going to do well just because yeah, I don't know if it's licensed or not, but it looks like it could be a folk art piece or homemade. And um, just like The Simpsons or any of the cartoon shows like South Park, we showed you SpongeBob. People collect these kind of things. Right next to that, we have a Star Wars set. It's a panorama. Three puzzles make one panorama. And this was just $3.99. So still sealed in the plastic. I think that one will do well as well. <laughs> Finally, we're here in the prod room. And I'm really excited. You know that I love oversized items. And I love these owls. I saw them from across the room. And I was like, oh, wow. I hope they're affordable. And they were. They are so cool. They were $6.99. A piece. They're hand painted and uh, cut out. And I probably, for graduation, or like, let, guess who's graduating, or look who is turning 50, or who's turning 40. But they are awesome every day of the week. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Woodsy Owl Give a Hoot, Don't Pollute. Remember him? So those are very cool. Next up, we have the Incredible Hawk. You saw him in the opening. He is very cool. He's oversized, and um, he's angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Remember the TV show of the 70s? So um, he is Marvel, and it's 2002. And I think we paid $3.50 for the Hulk. But he is... A very, very cool piece. He's that soft vinyl stuffy. Some of those other stuffies, they get kind of funky. And I feel like these do better because they can get wet and they don't spoil as easily. Right next to the Hawk, we have the Sad Clown. I don't normally buy clown stuff or buy clowns. Although I did buy that one oversized clown. It's like four feet long, and we sold him. That was a lot of fun. I got him at a, a flea market. But this guy, this is, is it Bernard Buffet or Buffett? And um, we got him for $4. I could not pass him up. It's just the, the look in his face. You know what I mean? It just kind of grabs you. And um, I believe this could be an original frame and backing, and they just have the title of it, A Sad Clown. And it was originally done by Illinois Molding Company, Chicago, Illinois, made in the USA. So love this, just that very expressive face. And I just love the colors too. And in the final piece, it's Rainbow Bright. And I found her in a bin for 50 cents. Some of these are going for up to $60 online. Now she has uh, a little schmutz on her face, but I'm telling you folks, that magic eraser works wonders. So um, she is from 1982 or 83, I believe. Let's take a look at her tag. Yep, 1983, I don't know if you can see that. Hallmark and Mattel. So that's a good one from the early 80s. Kay found this one. This is Shrek. It's a Shrek pinata. It was four dollars. You can hang it up. It's double-sided and uh, I, I, you can't go wrong. I mean he's green and he's Shrek 
Hey, donkey! <laughs> that was my poor Shrek imitation. He's fun. Okay, we talked before about using a magic eraser. So we have the Rainbow Bright. Here's your magic eraser. You can see the dirt on her face. So what I like to do is just wet a small area of the magic eraser. Now you can use Goo Gone, but I like to start with water. And it looks like she might have some, some paint or marker on her. But it looks like that's all coming off. Look at that. You can see that a lot of that stuff came off. And I'll do a better job later on, but magic erasers. These are very valuable as a reseller. They work wonders. Boy, just that one area already looks so much better. Finally, we found this Hummingbirds of the United States and Canada poster. It was 50 cents. And I don't know about you, but I love watching Hummingbirds. They are so much fun to watch in the summer. This was a no-brainer, and I think we might be framing this and hanging on to it. It's just so much fun to watch these little guys fly around, and it's fun to put out hummingbird feeders. Sometimes you think it's a bumblebee, when in fact, it's a hummingbird. You put out a hummingbird feeder? That was a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for joining us on this haul video. Picking weeds vintage. Thank you so much for your support as well. I'm Mighty Mike. Happy picking, everybody.